What's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Flight Academy Kicks, a.k.a. Flex Luger Kicks, Ross. Pass the flight. Call me what you want, man. Just don't call me broke, man. We back with another early review for y'all, man. And as you can see, the scenery is different because I'm here. My boy is still here in University Mall. Kicks are for us, man. So um, I want to bring this review to y'all. It's a little different than the other shoes that I ever did reviews on. And I just wanted to, you know, kind of mix it up a little bit for y'all to get y'all a different taste on different shoes and just kind of be very diverse with the channel man so here we got man the nike ld waffle sakai man so y'all get a good look at that tag on it now these are probably shoes that i wouldn't wear uh, i don't have no type of shoe like this in my collection whatsoever but you know everybody's always open for change man so it's you know it's something i would venture into if i feel confident about it but I just want to give y'all a little, just real good close look at them, man. And, you know, kind of see what y'all thoughts are on these. I know these, uh, I don't know how limited they are, um, but I know they're going for a real good penny, man. So, you know, just kind of off rip. Is this shoe would be a pass for me. It's not really a shoe I would go for unless one of my people needs it. But, um, <clears throat> right, so what I want to do, man, let's get straight to the unboxing on these, man. Um, when I see these shoes, they really give me that Nike Cortez vibe. So, uh, and by the looks of them, you can tell these are one of like the original Nike shoes. So let me get this box out of the way for y'all. So, just give y'all a good view of them. That's the side, the front, straight down. Yeah, looks right. Long, long. It's the back. I ain't even gonna cap to y'all. These shoes look like the Jetsons spaceship, bro, from that cartoon, man. Like, I ain't even gonna cap whatsoever, man. Like, that's the first thing that just came to my mind when I see these shoes, man. But uh, just to kind of give y'all a review on them, man. So, I think one of the most important things about this shoe uh, is the waffle part. Now, my boy was telling me from your outer sole, man, um, as you see, like, the indentures of the square on them. So, pretty much, Nike used the uh, waffle iron to get the imprint on the soles and you can just tell like this is just like the old retro vibe look from it um and actually when you look at it you can tell they use a waffle iron to get it maybe yeah, i could do it like that so y'all see how it sticks out yeah good view on those man so on your mid so they got this extra bumper whatever this is this little soft piece that goes to the, the mid so um with this one you got the red suede um, I mean, it, it just colors all over the place, man. You know, it just colors everywhere. You on your Nike swoosh, you got the kind of like platinum silver look with the yellow. I want to say that's leather a little bit. And actually, the midsole is mesh, so you can see that. So that makes it real good for your feet to be able to breathe, man. Um, on your heel badge, you got your blank heel badge. But you do have your Nike Sakai um, patch. Well, not really patch, I'm sorry. But like imprint on here. Um, it's not really, uh, in bro it's pretty much just, just like, Looks right, almost like just laser printing almost a little bit. Um, it's not really sticking out or anything like that. <laughs> With the silver on top. Um, you do get an extra pair of laces. So you get your white laces on here. Now the tongue, is different because you got your Nike Sportswear tongue, but then you got a double tongue too with the Nike Sakai, man. So it's kind of just doubling up on everything, man. So you got your, your double soles, got your double swoosh. Um, even with the strings, man, the strings are double up as well. I didn't even realize that. So you got the white and gray. Um, on the toe box, the toe box is very mesh too. So pretty much the whole upper of the shoe is just mesh. So y'all can see. Everything just just mesh all the way around, man. All right, let's see what here. That's the inside of it. So, like I said, these are uh, the look up. There you go. So Y'all see, just got the Nike Sakai on the, on the inside of them. Um, but that's pretty much it for this shoe, man. Um, this piece right here just look like iPhone almost man I don't, I don't really like this part of it um, but like I said you could tell this is just one of them retro shoes right here 
So you got to kind of be a fan of it. I don't think this is doing people are going to cop it because of the resale value on it. But whether it's really worth it is going to be a question. Um, but like I said, this is the Nike Sakai, man. Had to, had to bring that early review for y'all on this. Uh, they drop it on the end of this month. And both pairs are pretty consistent with it. But, you know, for me, I can't really rock. Can't really rock with these, man. I mean, I know the meaning behind of them, but it really ain't my style, man. But for some of y'all, it might be, man. So that's why I do the review, man. Every review, I don't have to like. You know, I just do it for, for y'all, man. So you see it, man. But I do think the, the mesh of the upper is pretty dope. I rock with the mesh. I like that, man. And the suede is pretty good on the heel bags, too. So, yeah, so it almost looked like, I'm not even gonna lie to you, now that I think about it, it kind of got that off-white vibe with it, too, man. So, it, for me, it kind of looks like a Cort Nike Cortez off-white, um, just from the looks of it. But let me know what y'all think, man. I think it really do look like the Jetsons spaceship, bro, just coming in. But I do see that they are reselling for a pretty penny right now. So there's obviously evidently there's hype behind it. Um and the retail on these bad boys is retail is I'll show the retail. I think the retail on these maybe like 160 or so man. But um Yeah man, let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Like I said, I'm kinda like up and down on these, not really too pressed on them, but you know. And from the feel of the soul, man. This might be a real comfortable shoe, though. Yeah. It's just, I can't get with this part sticking out, man. Like, I feel like this part is going to drag you a little bit or something, man. But I first seen these on 2J's. It was at SneakerCon Cleveland. He was telling me about them. But just now to get the actual look on them and see for myself. Like, ah, it's really a toss up for me, man. Um, I can really do without it. But, there y'all see it, man. Let's see here, bro. Yeah, that's it, man. So, there you have it, man. Give y'all a good view on. Let's see. So, let me know in the comment section, man. Stay in the comment section what y'all think, man. These gonna be a cop for y'all, or nah. It's something y'all gonna pass on. It ain't really y'all style. I mean, honestly, if you cop them, it'd be a good shoe for resale. So it's definitely gonna be a good resale value on them, but I don't know. I don't know, they just, uh, money-wise, yeah, but to put them in the collection, like, could y'all really see me wearing this shoe, though? Like, at sneaker con or just out and about? I mean, I seen some on feet pictures of them, so. This just ain't me, though. That ain't my style, man. So, boom, there you have them. Hey, bro, what's the date these dropped on again? The 30th? So, these dropping on the 30th. On the 30th, man. So, y'all go after them, man. You know, if you like them, go cop them, man. But. I'm gonna leave my size for y'all out there. So whoever size 14, you know, it'd be available because I ain't going after them. I promise you, I'm staying clear away from these. Stuff, man. I just keep looking at them because they're so weird, man. But that's it, man. Y'all know how we doing, man. Make sure y'all go to rejuvenator.com, man. Use code Flight Academy 10, save the 10% off, man. For the sole premise, man. Flight Academy, save 30%. As well as laced up laces, man. Use code laced AP15. Save 15% off right. and check out, man. And um, you're probably going to need something to keep these protected anyway, man. So there y'all have it, man. Let me get y'all one last look on them. It's a real detailed look. Like that. Like that. So, like I said, man, stand in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Copper pass. Y'all feel them. Y'all not feel them. Um, and just what's y'all true thoughts about it, man. Let's, let's really talk about it, man. But until next time, man, y'all know how we rocking, man. Take flight with the flies, man. If you ain't flying with me, just ain't flying right. Y'all know the motto for the year. Hustle and motivate, man. Long live nip. And we out, man. 
That's all I'm tryna do. Hustle and motivate.